Hey Grey Dramers, today we're looking at Jameson Cask Mates. Now this one is the IPA edition. So what that means is it's been rested or matured or finished in a uh, beer barrel or craft beer barrel as it says on the label uh, for an unspecified amount of months. Um, but it's the original Jameson liquid that's gone into this beer barrel. So it will have altered the flavour slightly. As you can tell, I've got a little bit of a head start on you guys and the video. Um, but let's have a quick go. So Jameson cask mates, it's in the, yeah, the classic Jameson livery that's been played with um, to a degree to add this new range feel to it. Make it feel like a range in its own right. Um, loving the green, especially that copper foiling on there as well. Really, really nice touch. Um, let's see what it's like, shall we? Being a big fan of the, the main Jameson product, um, I think it's one that for some reason people do every now and then say, oh, I only drink Jameson or he or she only drinks Jameson. It's like, it's not an only product. It's the biggest selling Irish whiskey in the world. It's ubiquitous in virtually every bar on the planet. And um, when you think about it also, it's, it's a bloody nice whiskey, <laughs> first and foremost. And it should not be sniffed at because of price, because of availability, because of who drinks it from young to old, rich to poor, all of that kind of stuff. Doesn't matter, try the whiskey. That's what is interesting and that's what matters. So we here at Great Drowns are a big fan of Jameson and I'm, I'm intrigued to actually spend more time with this one to see what the flavor difference is. So on the nose you're getting that classic Jameson character, that lovely sweetness, that, that beautiful vanilla note as well. But you are getting an edge of a kind of a fruity malty note. Uh, which isn't present on the main product. Almost a citrus note there. Be interesting to know what uh, IPA uh, was in the barrel first. I don't know that offhand. Um, and what hops that used. Mm. Mm. Incredibly smooth, as you'd expect really soft fantastic vanilla that multi beer character comes through a lot more than i remember when i've tried it previously and it tastes like a an irish whiskey that has been given a hug by a beer um but still retains that jameson classic character to it if that makes sense uh, the finish is soft and sweet not particularly long there's a hint of a spice there there's a fruity citrus note that comes through quite strong for me anyway on that on the palate specifically mm. not too much oakiness to it that smooth lemony citrusy um malty uh character is stunning a really nice whiskey congratulations to Billy Lighton and the team over at IDL and Middleton. A fantastic addition to the range and hope to see many, many more. Cheers, until next time.